What's up everybody, Ryan Heapy with Heapy Digital here. It is Thursday, August 2nd, vlogist day two. It's a little after seven in the morning, about to start my morning workout. I've been working on a routine, a workout routine that allows me to get in a full body, total full body, hardcore workout with just one jumping jack. I know, sounds too good to be true. Stick with me, check it out, here we go. See what I mean? It totally works. I'm completely soaked. Maybe I'm just out of shape. I don't know, time to get on with the day. So what's on the agenda for today? Not much really, uh, obviously going to work a little bit later. Shouldn't be too crazy of a day at work. Um, also probably not very eventful. May not do a whole lot of vlogging there. Really it's this weekend when things are gonna start picking up, but uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? I know I'm only one day into vlogging, this being day two, but I'm already learning quite a bit. And the first lesson that I'm learning is that I need to pace myself. I, I intended to do short vlogs, five to six minute vlogs throughout the month. And uh, if you watched uh, yesterday's vlog, it was uh, around eight minutes. Um, and I was actually surprised at my ability to get that out the door uh, in one day like I did, because I filmed that whole thing and edited it and published it all on the same day. So I'm a little proud of myself for that, but it took a lot of time, and I think I need to, to reel it in a little bit, pull back on the reins and uh, consolidate and just be a little more efficient with my vlogging so I can get through this month because I want this to be a positive experience. I don't want to get to the end of the month and be burnt out on this. I want, I want it to be a good thing. So let's, let's make it a good thing. So while we're on the subject of vlogging, let's talk a little bit about what I'm using to film these vlogs. So my main vlog camera is what I'm filming on right now. We'll get to that one in just a minute. This is kind of my secondary camera. This is the RX100 Mark V. Um, this is not the newest RX100. They just came out with the Mark VI. Um, this one does really well for me, although I did just have to send it in for repair because the lens was sticking when it was coming out. But that's neither here nor there. I got it back. It's working great. Moving on. So this one, uh, I, I really like this one. It's got the fold-up screen. Um, the only thing that I really, really wish it had was an audio input. It doesn't have an audio input. If you want to use this one, unless you want to record separately onto a separate audio audio recorder, you're gonna be using the onboard microphones and those don't sound the greatest. As you can tell when I switch to this camera. So on the my main vlog camera, which I have here, this is the Sony A6500. I've got a Rode VideoMic Pro on the top with the dead cat. Uh, I've got a Sony G Master 16-35 F2.8. Got a small rig cage on it. I just recently added this quick release plate here because I, I, the uh, Gorilla Pod wasn't screwing in to the bottom of the small rig very tightly so when I would move around a lot it would uh, kind of come loose and I didn't really like that. But you can obviously tell the, audio, the difference in the audio between this camera and this one here. This camera's great, love the picture, love the audio. Don't have the flip out screen to be able to see myself. This one I have, it's a little bit of give and take with both cameras, um, but depending on what I'm shooting, what I'm doing, what I'm working on, I'll use one of either of these two cameras. All right, so it's currently like 107 degrees out here, so I'm gonna talk quickly, but I wanted to talk for a little bit about uh, just a, a creative struggle, uh, something that I think a lot of you can relate to that are watching this. And this applies to my YouTube channel specifically. Now, uh, I've had YouTube channels in the past, and actually some of them have been relatively successful, but I would get bored and I would move on, and it was fine. And now I've started this new channel, and I, I feel like I'm very comfortable in what I'm doing now as far as the subject matter, and I feel like it's something that I can stick to for a while, but the problem that I'm having now is that I'll come up with an idea and I'll think wow That's a really good idea And then I'll stop and think about it and kind of overthink about it and get to the point where I realize oh uh, You know what? 
I, there's probably a lot of people doing that. I should move on and find something else. Come up with a new idea and I'll go through the same thought process to the point where I'm just kind of going in circles and I don't really turn it into any action. I just, I just think and think and think and I'm spending more time thinking about what I want to do than actually doing anything. And this kind of goes to the discussion I had with myself yesterday on the vlog about why I'm doing Vlogist. If you haven't checked that one out, go ahead and check it out. And to be clear, I fully acknowledge the fact that having a vlog or just creating content in general is all about experimentation and that it takes time to really get comfortable with the type of content you're doing and to kind of slide into a niche. I understand that, um, but it's frustrating, especially since I've been creating for about oh, 10 years now or so. So to not find my style right away and not to find my groove immediately is just a, a bit frustrating, um, but it's okay. I, I understand I, that every now and then I just gotta step back and realize that this will take time and I'm okay with that. And uh, I'm going to just go out on a limb and assume that I'm not the only one that feels this way. I hope that this resonates with you. And if it does, just be like me and, uh, or be like I'm trying to be <laughs> and be patient. What else can you do? It's way too hot to be outside right now.